It was some of Sydney's smartest beachside property that took the brunt of the storm. Wind and rain combined with a very high tide to pound cliffs and sweep away homes and swimming pools that had been on top of them. The sand and soil here simply melted away. It's terrifying. I've never seen anything like it and I don't want to again. It was just, it was like out of a movie. The autumn storm lashed the entire length of Australia's east coast over the weekend. It started in the north in the state of Queensland and gradually spiralled south. It dumped huge amounts of rain. In two days, more than five times what most places get in all of June. Widespread flooding and huge ocean waves forced hundreds of people from their homes. Transport was severely disrupted with train lines and roads flooded. Airports operated with severely reduced capacity. Some of those killed in the storm were swept away in their cars. They were trapped as rivers burst their banks and poured over roads. Rescuers near Canberra were trying to pull one driver to safety when the floodwaters dragged away his car. The vehicle has shifted and the mail has disappeared from view along with the vehicle. Australia's Prime Minister interrupted his election campaigning to be updated on the floods. Our uh, condolences to the families of those who have lost their lives in these storms. On Monday, as the winds died down and rains eased across the state of New South Wales, emergency services were able to inspect the worst of the damage and start some basic repairs. Over the course of Monday, the storm moved south, away from Sydney. The airport here is back to normal. It's now Tasmania that's feeling its full force. In the town of Launceston, hundreds were evacuated from their homes before the storm hit. Even so, people were swept away. The conditions on the island state are said to be worse than during its most devastating floods on record in 1929. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.